James Balag. He is the founder and director of the Extreme Ice Survey, and he's been watching and documenting the effect of global warming on glaciers for several years. What we've seen has been a complete shock. I really never expected to see this magnitude of change, uh, this pace of change. Um, it, it really is uh, astounding. And every time we open the backs of those cameras, it's like, whoa, are you mm. kidding me? Advance and retreat has, of course, been happening uh, over the millennia. That's a part of the natural process. But what we're seeing right now is a much accelerated uh, rate of change, especially in the past uh, 40 years or so. And that has clearly been traced by the scientists to the, uh, to the input of, of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide into the atmosphere. In other words, the greenhouse gases that are altering the composition of the atmosphere. In 1984, the glacier was down there 11 miles away. And today, it's back here receded 11 miles. In the past million years, the peak of carbon dioxide has been around 280 or 290 parts per million. We're now at uh, 395 and adding more every single year. Look at that. Look at so what can we do? What we need is, is a greater uh, a political understanding and popular understanding of the immediacy and reality of these changes. And I believe that by using our voices, we can shift public perception. 